everybody, and welcome to an edition of the Rising Legends. And it's chapter three. I, of course, am kind of a beloved overlord, real guy, throat in the ID, but to see if I'm a drip, home by the flame, boy, fly, flag, and I'm Uh, <clears throat> he's um, muted. Boy? I'll say uh, he's mine. Do it. Please. Dark Digition Girl is my number one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! <sighs> okay. I know something uh, better. Uh, what is it? I know something that will really get him. Blue Girl was better than Alexis. Oh. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> our, uh, our Spirit King hero. If I sound quiet or not, because I'm setting up for a joke here. Ah! <laughs> don't get out of an explanation. I do you, don't, you know why I do random shit. I don't have to explain myself. No, you don't. Our uh, Crimson Pfizer, Johnny Crimson. Dear Chief Replacement, I am writing you this letter to inform you of your imminent demise. Yes, I'm going to fuck the fair turkey. Sorry if I don't remember the whole thing. I haven't watched TFS abridged in a while. You're fine. You're fine. Helsinger Bridge is a Halloween staple. I'll have it memorized come Halloween. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway. Our, uh, goblin slaying goblin sent I, I fan. We're ready to unleash his unbridled fury. And so suddenly he is Russian. Not Russian, I was trying to and go for and finally, our wonderful D. And Marcus, who is celebrating a birthday today. Happy birthday! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Another uh, trip around the sun, and uh, welcome. We are uh, on our way to the lair of yes, Chief this guy. Yeah, the hill giant. And yet again, I have to say, that's a woman! But uh, but I, mean, uh, I, was, I was slowly looking at the uh, the map, and I just noticed the uh, the entire area is kind of like gone. Uh, by the way, does anyone have the text that I can use to put the short bow oh, in? Um, do you have your sheet uh, popped out, or is it on the? Yes, screen? uh, I have my sheet like, popped it, out. Like, is it, is, Okay, you have an all separate thing now. Okay, because if it wasn't popped out, you could have just uh, go into, got into the right into the compendium, searched up short bow, and just thrown it in your sheet that way. Mm. But otherwise, uh, my phone's in. Fuck, I can't really do nothing about that right now. So. Eh. Okay, so Oops. a normal short bow. Uh, Oh, it wasn't uh, plus one or it was. I think it was plus one. I think it was plus one. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we do have. We did have the link to the thing. Did we not end the thing? So mm. we, we can go in back. The chat? It's still there. It's in the. About that, out, I believe I popped it into the room thing, into the group thing. Yes. The Infinite Expanse also had a plus one short bow. Yes. So you can drag a plus one short bow. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly. So uh, after red launch for. That's weird. Launch. I don't. I can see. I see. Uh, two <sighs> look faded. Oh. I, I can't see them. I can't see flutters, and I can't see heroes. Weird. weird. I can see all five. Fine. See them both. It's fine. Okay. Hmm. Let me move off the page and look again. And there's a and there's flutter. That's weird. They still look very uh hold on. Let me just faded. I'm gonna right. stop here for a second, but I'll be right I'll be right back in. There we go. Alright. No, I'll talk about the I'll talk about the token, not oh. actually the oh. Don't ass <laughs> You don't you didn't see me slay a though doing that. Fair. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. All right. Are we? So we were at, I believe, if we look at our our uh, traveling yeah. to the hill giant lair thing as we get started, we were just south of Tribor, and we, I believe, or, or yes, it was south of Tribor, uh, where I, we, or was it Westbridge? I'm pretty uh, sure we were either in Westbridge or Red Larch. I think it was we south. We, I think it was south of Westbridge. We were where you went and found the clearing and did the thing and whatever. So, um, yes. Yeah, so you see that you can head down through Red Larch, uh, spend the night there, um, and then as you get down further, the next you will need to start following a tributary. You could also take the Cairn Road down if you want to to the inn that's off the Cairn Road. Uh, if you would like to go that way as well. Uh, but that is that you're trying to approach off of the river where the X is on that handout. So how do you want to proceed? Which direction? And then once you get close, how do you want to proceed towards the location? Hmm. What do you think? Just keep heading south? Yeah. Once we get to yeah. the uh... I can use the yeah. stone to communicate with Cairo, and then I'll do some minor scouting just to make sure we're not going up against anything we cannot face. Okay. Well, Which we'll go. Ahead, we'll go ahead and get to the. You're approaching the location because I really is, I don't have any kind of wandering things to do. We're going to try to get into this. Um, just think about this. Uh, we've got to pick up diamonds off time. Remember. Uh, you can do that at any of the next two things if you want to, just to try to take apart yeah. the take your money off and put your diamonds in your thing. Yeah, I'll, um, just, I'll just do that while we're going there because obviously, as that's, soon as you get to that, pick them, it's gonna pick them. that is fine. Um, so, uh, I sounds like you are uh, approaching to scout. I'm assuming you're approaching stealthily. So. Roll me a stealth check, please, and thank you. Stealth check with advantage due to Boots of Elven kind. And with the cloak, if they try and perceive me, disadvantage in perception. 22 <laughs> stealth. Wow. God, Jesus Christ. Damn. Damn. That's what happens yeah. right here. That's you, what you are fair, you're fairly confident that you are not uh, seen. Um, roll me a perception check as well. Perception? Mm-hmm. I certainly. Oops. I did not want to. Something just activated on my PC and it's close that perception. I am trained in that. That is a 10. You have advantage on this, however, so that's a 22. You do notice that um, above this place, and I'm going to show everyone this and put it in your journals. Uh, this is the outer view of. Uh, what you've been told is the is the the hill giant lair of Grud Hog, and you'll see the name spelt on the thing. Uh, should see that. You can click and expand that to a bigger view if you wish. So you see, there's a couple of ways to approach. One thing you do notice with that perception roll is that there are active guards scanning the area in that from that tower and you realize if you had not stealthed you would have probably alerted them um there are uh, a couple ways you can approach as you can see there's an a higher higher approach up off the top ridge that goes into the top main building there's also several other entrances um on the lower level so Mm -hmm. you can approach Whichever way you wish to approach and how you wish to approach, but the the group would need to be stealthy if you're going to avoid being seen by uh, the guards in the tower. So, looking at the guard tower, they have a view of the dam, they have a view of the ridge, and they have a view of the main entrance. Was well, there a back uh, way? I'm assuming that. The pens are full of livestock that either captured or are raising. That's... I mean, there's many possible entrances to this. What do you think, guys? Most direct route, or do you want to be a bit more careful about this? 
Well, I okay. mean, if we're not careful, careful about this, we could probably, if we're not careful here, we could, we could end up, alert, we could end up somehow alerting the big, uh, the big giant that we're trying to take out. And I, I think we want the element of surprise here. That'd be kind of, you know, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. So, so from, from all of those from... areas that you can see, um, are available there. Uh, I'll point them out to you if you notice. There is actually the there's an entrance up top with next to that boulder with a little yeah. sloping trail from low. There's two entrances at the bottom around that little campsite area that you're talking about with the little stockyards. There's also a um, an open like a cave entrance uh, further to the uh, east along that ridge as well. If you haven't noticed it over there. Yeah, it looks like it looks like an area mm. with. What looks, what I don't know what those actually are, but those look like hay bales, maybe. Tree stumps. Oh, okay, tree stumps. Oh, yeah. That's where all that's the good. what 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 you see when you know, what you see or what Nick sees and he would, could report back is this. Yeah. This is obviously <laughs> um, the entire thing was built uh, almost as a dam for this river. Uh, the yeah. water flow is very lacking going out of it compared to that's the river to the north of it, and that's what's coming. That's what's coming through the dammed up area that you can see in the picture. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, uh, what's your plan? How are you approaching? How are you doing it? What's what's the what's the what's the thought? I, I'd say at least at, le at the very least we pick the side that the guards can't actively always see. Which would be the cave off to the east. Yeah, because that, that is that. blocked by the main building and the cliff face, because they can see yeah. basically into the stockyards. Most of the front entrance, I'm assuming that's where that boulder is, and they have their wee ladder set that leads up to the tower. Yeah. So, so the take, the, take, take... That cave. We'll that cave all the way on that side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which I'm guessing. If that goes in there, it could possibly take us out into that cave entrance in the middle of the campsite. Which then we can just go up and try to, try to, try to stay down a little farther yeah. and make it through another mm -hmm. place. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a party probably. decision. What does the party believe? We had voices of everybody except the elves, I believe. I'm sorry, I was, sorry, was multi. He, he test asking. Uh, um, and so we want to go. So we want to go with a stealth approach. Yeah. Yeah. The cave, mm -hmm. the cave that's on the Fair far side. It's on the far side. That's by. That's in the, street, the tree stump area. That's what we're thinking of going first. If we approach from there, we have cover. Right. And should someone spot us, well. Are you going to try to wait till like you definitely from going the way you're going? It is. It would be. I'm assuming it is morning or midday. Do you want to wait and approach in the evening? You're gonna approach. You're gonna approach just when you get there. Like, let's go. Let's go with the right evening. Right now, you can see it's daylight. That's yeah, how you can yeah, see yeah, everything. Be... Yeah. For the nighttime, because uh, because especially with being a. Uh... Especially with being a darker colored teeth, like yeah, that that whole night thing might actually blend in a bit better somehow. Mm -hmm. Plus, now that we basically uh, all of us except DL have dark vision, does DL but still doesn't get it because he's Warforged thing. Yeah, so what is half? What, he'll just have to like kind of just help, like follow us. So it's not gonna be too hard to follow us because you can. See, it's like I think it's like a limited thing you can see if you don't have dark vision. I think. We need Very to get DL but a pair of goggles of night somehow. <laughs> Or, 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 or I need to find uh actually let me check something real quick. Either get him a pair of goggles or night or find a pair and build it into his eye so he actually has a pair on him all times. So nighttime stealthy approach. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like the best idea. Alright. And I'm gonna I, warn I'm gonna I warn do both. believe I'm gonna have to Move. So we're gonna try something. Um, and okay. see if it works, but give me a moment. We are going to try to do um, fog of war. They've got a new fog of war, a new, a new, a new dynamic lighting setup. Oh, boy. Uh, oh. 
which, right. which everything's set to. So the thing is, it's a lot more difficult for me to do reveal than it is to do that if we can do that. So I need to ask questions. So first off, Hero, do you have do you have dark vision? Uh, yes, I do. What's your distance on that? My my distance is I believe it's the same for a lot of us that it's within uh it's it's sixty feet. Yeah. Yeah, 60 feet. 60 feet total, and it starts dimming at uh, 30. Is that right? Uh, you can see within you can see the <laughs> dim light within 60 feet of you as if it were a bright light, and in darkness as if it were dim light. So I'm pretty sure it's like 30 feet. I can basically it's fine, but then 60 feet is where it's like I can kind of see. All right. At least that's that's how I perceive. That's at least how that's at least how I read it. Cause that let me uh, let me see. Because I'm gonna set you guys up and see. Because it'll be much, a lot more fun if you get if dark vision if the oh, if, dynamic if lighting does, works. Does, but I, like when I heard dynamic lighting, I'm like, oh boy. Well, they've Cause... done they've done a new they've done a new dynamic lighting, and maybe it's a little better for that. We'll we'll figure we'll it out. See. Well, if it if it works, then good. But if it doesn't, then that's gonna. Oh, yeah, I need to move up. Okay, so I I actually you're. Yours is yours is not dim. Yours is sixty feet straight off, but it oh, is. A... Right. Oh yeah, right. It's, it's sixty feet mm. regardless. Just that if I if I'm in dim light, I can see. It's it basically dim light is basically just normal sunlight to me, and dark and darkness is basically just dim light. Okay, so let's see. So that's that. Yeah. So it's just. Oh, so I'm just going to warn you guys here. If you hear snoring in the background, it's not me. It's my brother. Ah. Ah. All right. It's gonna be it's gonna be fairly obvious when we hear you still talking, and then we also hear snoring in the background. Eventually. Well, I mean, if I'm quiet for a while and you guys hear snoring, you're probably going to assume I'd fallen asleep. And but... and I know <laughs> that you do not. Uh, Warforge does not have night vision, right? I think you guys dealt with that before by doing uh, lighting his shield or whatever. I believe. Well, the problem the problem is though is that if we do that, you don't want to go gonna in. Become, right... It's going to become a walking, basically a walking beacon of light. Alright. So I mean, great that I, I could I could actually put the light, actually, in theory, because, can you put light, like, on a specific part of an item and that's it? You could. I could put the I could actually put light on, like, the inside of a shield, so you can at least see a small radius around it. You could do, well, no, you could do, like, uh, could you do that? I think, I, think the, I think the object is lit, but I don't know if you could do, like, hey, I'm gonna put this on this pommel that, instead of the whole sword. I don't well, know if that's um, something we can actually do. does. Um, actually, do you have like a deal? Do you have like a smaller, like a smaller weapon of some kind? Just like a small one. Ah. I think he only has a javelin in his. You know what I'll do then? Uh, just for now, I'm gonna. I'm basically going to hand uh, for temporary purposes. Just hand in my dagger and just cast light on that because that's a smaller target overall. Like just put light on it, because light on a dagger is a lot smaller radius than on like a javelin or something. Like that. At least I would assume that would be the case. Good point. And plus, I barely use the dagger, so as it is, so I can kind of just use like the dagger for like if you need. It's like... Um, and who else has uh, night vision? Uh, I do. Dark, dark, you have dark vision, right? Okay. So yeah, I, think I, do. Everybody, I think it's literally everybody but DL has dark vision, I think. I'm pretty sure. At least I think. think. Let's find out. Is that I don't have that right? feature that gives me a, I used to not have it, but now I have to change all metamorphosis. Uh, yeah, yeah, so you got it. So that's like at one point I thought we had. So what's your distance then? It's 60 as well? Yeah, if it's 60. All right. I also can grow gills if I need to breathe on the water, and I can give myself claws, fangs, horns, or any natural weapon of my choosing. Okay. And yes, that does include Klingon head fangs, because I'm going to be head up. And I know, I know when we move over that everyone should be able to see... We should be um, able to see where... You're at because this map is set to be daytime, but you're saying you're approaching at night, so it'll really take more effect when you go into the cavern. And we are moving to the uh, thing. I need uh, for everyone, everyone, to roll 
a stealth check, please. Oh, dear. Um, I gotta wait. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, because you're all trying to be stealthy. Um, nice. All right. So hold on. So that's a twenty. Oh, it's his advantage. So twenty-two, and then twenty-three is the high on that one. Okay. Well, let me reopen my curb sheet. Sure. That's a that's an actual uh, seventeen for you because uh, your advantage gets canceled because of your heavy armor. Right. But that's still a good roll. It's like what isn't working? Huh? The map shouldn't even take this long to load, actually. Yeah, I'm... Um, the map's loaded for me. You're I'm... on the far I'm... left. Or far the right. Far right, yeah. I, I see it. Here, too. Just going to zoom in a little on my end, because I can actually okay. see the tokens. So, so... But for Hero and uh, Flutter, you guys can't see it. I just want to take a look at if he snores even later and when they throw a brick at him. So, what was going on? Oh. I think there's issues with the map for some people. Yeah, so... I can, I can see my cat. I... You can see your, you, so so right now we're saying that oh, that hero you can't see it at all right maps not loading hero hero give him a sec flutters the map not loading for you either ladder ladder What we can hear you. Huh. Hold on. There we I go. heard that. Yep. Oh, there is the black screen. Okay, so we're Okay. So let me I'm gonna have I'm gonna move you guys back. Uh over. And then I'll need to make this some adjustments because I've gotta make this I've gotta change it from the dynamic lighting and then uh, put everything as fog of war, which is a. Like I used to have a problem with the dynamic lighting because, well, now that I've got the PC, it doesn't seem to be a problem. All right, so let me do the thing I've got to do to reveal what I need to, and then we'll get started on it. That's just it's just a it's just a bigger pain in the ass to do that to do the reveal all the time than anything but we can we can take care of it not a big deal hold on wait a second because i'm trying to hold on let me just uh well i'm about to move you oh. guys i moved you guys off the map and i'm about to set it back to the original yeah, I know, but for whatever reason, my character sheet isn't wanting to load. Okay. Like, yeah, so let me just uh, leave and come back into the game and see if that, okay. if that works. All right, so I'm going to move you guys back over to that map, though, now. So now you should just see what's being revealed manually. All right. And your character sheets are off to the far right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because my, my computer apparently just does not like dynamic lighting at all. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I'm just making sure I can move. Um, 
Victorious. So that is. Or, or, oh, there we Far go. Right. Found it. I got him. I got him. All right. Hold on. Yeah, I, I, I hate having to do that, but like, it just my crew like, just hates dynamic lighting apparently oh. as a whole. Get to the edge. But I'm stealthed right now, so I cannot dash. I'm just engaged without breaking stealth. Okay, uh, let me pull my stealth check real quick. Oh god! So, that's, a <laughs> that's a 13, we're rolling with the. Uh, okay, good! Thank you. god! <laughs> uh, just need a uh, flutter when you get yours up. Hold on. Alright, wait a second. So we just. So we're so far right. That's where we are. And that is me sorted. There we. Okay, there we are. Never mind. <laughs> Mike, I just need to check really something. Think that, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't have to close. I didn't have to like close out of anything. I, I just. I just waited yes, for still there. to. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I was just double checking because I remember one time we loaded into the game I had to replace all the gas. I was just like, I hope I don't have to try and find that gif again. Uh, I'm going to quickly try out the, the new gifts I put in real quick since uh, you're doing this. I'm doing just waiting guy. on uh, one stealth roll. Yeah. Just let me... Let me just... Okay, let me just check one of mine. I'm not actually doing this. I'm just checking the... Come on. Oh, well, okay, I'm gonna have to replace my gifts. Awesome. Yo. Yeah. You're for uh, your Sharpo gif? Yeah. I approve. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah, I'm of course you to... would. Thankfully, for my gifts, I don't. I, I have all my gifts in one place, so I can just easily grab mine from the site that I have mine. There we go. I'm gonna be. Like I'll, mi I'll miss you, Trigger. You're a good series. Okay, where is this from? I believe it's from. Uh, might be from dates. Hey, the future past. Ah, never seen it. Huh. Never heard of it. <laughs> Hold on. Did it, did it ever happen? No, wait, wait. There we go. Everything's. It might just be your um, one gift, hero. No, it's it's it, it, it. This happens every so often, where I I can almost guarantee it's specific. Oh, right, there. Right, I need to set up gifts for my new spells. Oh. Yeah. No. See, it's only it's only my spells. There we oh, go. Okay. okay what do we need a self roll? Yes, we need a self roll. Yeah. Like. Yesterday. <laughs> okay. Blade Fury. Your, your, your regular attack rolls, by the way, are fine. Jesus, so flaw. Fucking oh. Christ. Fucking hell, man. How are you Jesus. still here? How is Flutter still here than the rogue? But no, it's like one second, one second the rogue sees like Rex just walking. Next second, Rex is just gone, but he walked in front of nothing. You bet me. <laughs> hey, Sentai. The the reason that one doesn't work is because you are not grabbing the link. You're grabbing the link from Discord and not the original link that you used. Yeah. For the Blade of Fury. Yep. It's showing for. Yeah. It's showing for you guys. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm not seeing it. That's weird. Yeah. I'm looking I've at got, it right now. I'm literally looking I've at I've got I've got quite a few that are showing weird. Um. All right. Stealth is 25 there. So that means. Uh. Okay. Let me hold on. I'm gonna do the math here. So we had a 25, we had a 13, we had a 17, I believe, from uh, the not getting advantage for the armor for the gears, we had a 23 for Angus, and we had a 22 I'm for sure Nick. overall that's mostly, I think, a success, I'm pretty sure, considering the numbers. That is... Um, at least that's usually how like did you have checks are usually made. And there's well, so five of you. Yeah, that's a that's an average of uh twenty. So, so it's, um, like, it's 
<laughs> everyone else but, is everyone else is like walking. But I, I almost I, a stick but I but I I do have a uh, to roll on my own here a a check. I, I just imagine at this point because I rolled I rolled a thirteen there. Everyone else is like walking. I'm just being carried. <laughs> <laughs> Because I rolled that shit, they're just like, we're not taking the chance. <laughs> I'm just holding out my cloak of elven kins, like, Cairo, hide in here. Hide it, like, hiding it in there. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, <clears throat> okay. Even with my 13, even with my 13, so, I'm just like... <laughs> you, feel, you feel pretty sure that no one has noticed <laughs> you approaching, and uh, I do believe you should be able to approach the entrance at your leisure. Alright. So, move. I'm going to get there. Near the entrance, so I will move gonna pick a, one over. Gonna pick a spot near, it's going to pick a spot near the entrance, because as soon as everybody's near the entrance, we're going to go right in anyways to see what's in there. Yeah. Alright. Oh. Um, what, what do you see? Um... You see a cave entrance that slopes up slightly, not much. Um, it's a you can you can kind of smell it. It kind of stinks. Uh, it smells uh, like kind of like crap and like like filth. Um, oh, but uh, you you do see a little bit of light emanating from within. Ladies and gentlemen, I do believe we have found the latrine. <laughs> oh, so we found my oh, so we found my house. So, yeah. feel free to move up as you wish and tell me how you're doing it. Um, I'm stealthily walking and holding my nose. Okay, roll me a stealth check and move as where you can That's into the. Before I move in, just rip off a slight bit of the fabric, just tie it, just tie it around my, uh, just tie it around like my face, so I can just not. Advantage twenty nine. All right, go ahead and move on up. All right, might as well just. Uh, I'm hoping, please, please don't fuck me over. All right, Come right now. Well, right now, I think your your rogue was moving in to scout, so you're gonna move move to where you're gonna to. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All right. You can see there. I can see a straight line here. Give you a little more room. You can see in here, and there is some light on the wall. You can actually, let me see if you're, what you're, what you're, from there. This each, each, although this is, uh, no, I guess each square is 10 feet. So, 5, 10. Yeah, so you can see up here. So let me do give you more. You can hear the snoring too. Of, uh, it's obviously a, um, it's a sleeping quarters, but it's filthy. Um, yeah. You can hear and see a sleeping hill giant uh, snoring very loudly, completely asleep uh, up here. Um, you. So, doesn't seem to stir or anything, notice you or anything. Um, let me see if there's a, let me check your vision here too. Yeah, you can see about to there. You see another, uh, you see from what you can see, there is actually a, uh, part of this cavern is, uh, there's a, a little path up here, up top, and there is another little area. Right. Yeah. There. I mean, the, the second you talked about a sleeping coach, I, I literally just went and thought. <laughs> yep. Just he's snoring in the old, like the Three Stooges way. He just yep. does. <laughs> oh, so we found Mo. Oh, the, yeah, I saw that. I heard that. I was like, yes, immediately that. <laughs> So, I mean, if he, if you guys wanted a more accurate sound, I could walk over to my brother because he is basically just a sleeping cow giant. He's fat. <laughs> but... Wow. And he smells like shit. That's funny. 
So we either found Shim or we found uh Mo. I'm just gonna walk back and say, "Hey guys, ah, uh, there's a do not disturb sign in there. Do you want to go disturb them?" <laughs> He's sleeping, so if we all hit him at the same time, we do have a chance of knocking him out. Yeah, but at the same time, if we don't knock him out. There is that. I mean, out of character, if he's asleep, technically he's under the prone and unconscious condition. I mean, technically, I it's up to the DM, but it's I up to the party. Say... Do we could try and sneak past? I was going to suggest. Do that. have that option? I mean, I still, I still potentially have a twenty-nine if I need to re-roll. I can re-roll it. Yep, uh, and you're correct. A sleeping, a sleeping uh, creature is unconscious. So, unconscious creatures incapacitated right now. He currently can't move or speak, and is unaware of his surroundings. Uh, he is prone. Um, anything that would require a strength and dexterity saving throw, he would automatically fail. Um, all attack rolls against this creature when they're unconscious have advantage. Oh. Uh, and any cre any attack that hits the creature is a critical hit if the attacker's within five feet. So um, we might want to just all of those actually... all of those things are are uh, part of that, um, <laughs> yeah. and and they are prone, which means they're so prone is your uh, he's got no he's got uh, disadvantage on its attack rolls until it stands up. Yeah. And uh, any attack roll against the creature has advantage if you are within five feet. If you're not within five feet, i.e. you're shooting a ranged weapon, you have disadvantage. That's the condition you guys are working under. So yeah. you want to move on in? What do you want to do? I mean, I guess we I guess we actually could in theory. Okay, yeah, like, hero, hero. Yeah. guys, how much damage can we output in a single ton? Because if we hit this thing with everything we've got, I mean, I have a D8 plus 5, so that's 13 damage, crit, so double that. Then I have, if I crit, I do 8D6 sneak attack damage. So, so there's here's, that. here's how we would play this mechanically, so we're aware. Um, I understand that it sounds like you're looking at a dog pile situation where you're going to just go attack the thing. So... If you get around and then I'll attack at the same time, the first attack, whoever, and it won't, it's whatever order you want. There's no need to roll yeah. initiative because it's just you guys. Whoever That's attacks awesome. first will get the auto crit if they hit and um, everything else. He will not have a, a chance to get up. It will wake the creature up, obviously, if you attack it unless it kills it outright. It so will invoke the crit card because it's an automatic critical if it hits. So here's mm -hmm. the thing about that. Uh, everyone definitely. everyone else would not get an auto crit, but you would have advantage until he gets his turn on the second turn and gets to stand up, now, if he makes it through that. Now, we're talking, this is going to be an automatic crit, so my so damage is doubled, right? Like, automatically? Yes. Automatically, yeah. damage is automatically doubled, whatever you, well, not doubled, dam you roll two yeah. damage die, so damage I is automatically rolled twice, so it's, but you do um, get a, but, and you do invoke the crit card, which is a which is, yeah. Anything so from double to quadruple that. damage or quintuple in some cases. It could be, yeah. Potentially. So here's the oh. thing about that, right? You know how you're talking about D8s and stuff like that? Yeah, remember how some of my spells have 3D10 involved? Yeah, but that costs a spell slot when I can, well, D6 is technically, however. C... Yeah, but here's the thing, though. Remember, I still have my I still have my rod of the pack keeper. So whatever spell slot I first use is completely free, technically. I, I mean, there's also the round. dusts I have. I have I the dust of sneezing and choking, probably... which would make them suffocate to death. And. If, if, Up he's, to you. if he's asleep, you could probably, if, like, we could try that, and then, like, because that doesn't exactly require, 
think it requires like any major, like actual. It does require a roll, actually. Yeah. I yeah, think. but I think our best bet's just to find whoever can output the most damage in a single solitary um, hit with a card. Well, you... that'd probably be either Sentai or me, actually. Mm -hmm. Especially when I, if I, uh, especially with the the rate, the additional rage damage. Now we have fought hell giants before. Yeah. So we can surmise that they can take a good hit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They don't have much in the way of armor, so they're going to be easy to hit. But their constitution is fucking it. Oof. Well, remember, I have uh. I, I have I have I can I can do I can do necrotic damage too and everything so. So what do you want to do? Do you want to sneak past? Do you want to take him out? to we got one less body for us to deal with. Let's just let's just take let's just take him out because honestly, yeah. like, if mm -hmm. worst comes to worst, like we have to maybe like take him out, but. Yeah, I think that'd be a worst better idea. Worst, he, might, he might say something, but I mean, worst comes to worst, we just have to maybe temporarily take a retreat and then come back another day. Mm. Alright. Are we agreed? Yeah. Yep. Okay, let's try. So, right. will it be Hero or will it be Sentai? I'll go. If you don't mind, I. I well, since we are squishy, I'll, I'll go in. I'll go in. Well, I'll right, go we're all going in. in. We're all go going in to hit him. We're just, oh. we're just, we're just deciding who's going to hit. The first, first person is going to get oh. the, uh, if they hit, is going to get the auto crit. That's the, that's the, that's, the, first. that's, that's the getting. deciding. Okay, so, so it's uh, out. So go ahead and move in where you're going to be around the, the sleeping hill giant. Going to reroll stealth again, just to be safe. Okay, I, think, I think since we're, since we're moving in, uh, I think it's like, fine. Yeah, I just like, come on. Okay, where'd you? I I will I will say I will say right now um, don't don't worry about yeah. rolling stealth. Did you lose yourself there, Sentai? Yeah. There you are, there buddy. You go. That's better. Um, that uh, this this giant is definitely not stirring as you're walking in. Uh, I'll go right there. I'll go. So, right. Actually, I can probably go behind, somewhere behind him. So when he gets up, he doesn't immediately see me right there. Okay. So, yeah, he's laying on the giant, on the giant pallet. So get around where you're going to be. Just pick a spot and let's go. Let's do it. And, and then... Just pick a spot somewhere and just, just go for it. So near okay. near him up. Like, let's uh, let's actually be, like, right next to him. Because obviously, since he's prone, we all have... Auto, uh, just move, like, one square up, uh, water. Like one all right. Guy. So it is going to be... Um, I believe it is uh, Angus that's to win the attack. So yep. <clears throat> roll your attack with advantage. Boom! <laughs> that is definitely a hit. And it is a critical hit. So go ahead and roll a... Uh, go ahead and roll another one, and we'll take that damage as the, as the second damage roll. Okay, so just... just roll another attack, and oh, we'll just, just count just, that yeah. second damage roll as the crit. Hold on one so, moment. <clears throat> that ends up being a uh, total of twenty-four uh, points, and let's see what the crit card says. First of all, let's see how much extra damage he does. Hit it. Critical hit. Hit it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, critical uh, cuss. It's right about Oh, me. Lord. <clears throat> oh, you want to play it out for everyone to see? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just oh, yeah. once you get just drag, you can just drag it to the board. I yeah, did. Just drag it somewhere on the board. Um, we don't see it. See it on the board. Huh. It looks like it's selling anything. It yeah. Okay. There we go. So, holy crap. Slash to the ribs. Maximum double damage. Holy shit. So, let's figure this out. So, uh... 
2d6 plus 4 strength, so that is 12. I mean, I mean, let's get out the calculator. So that would be 12 points plus 4 for the strength bonus. Uh, plus 2. 18. And then that's obviously technically... And that's a maximum. Double times 2 equals 36. Times 2 again for the crit. That's 72 points of damage. Oh, could, you, uh, could you pull the crit up a little bit? Could you pull that card back actually real quick and show what the show what the magic one was real quick? I think I saw... I just deleted it. Yeah. I think I, saw, I think I saw quadruple damage on the magic one. That could have been... Yeah. But, may, oh well. may, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I... I I killed it. I took it off the board. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I was. I was just. I, was um, I, I think I saw all that. So all right. Um, Everyone else. Who's next? Because he's about. He's wake. He wakes up immediately. Oh, and is like as soon as as soon as he's waking up, just gonna you know just 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 right just right like just close to the nape as next I can get. Just, all right. So <laughs> let let's let's. So who's next? So you're next, hero. Yeah, I'll go next then. All right. Who's who's after that? So we'll get an order here, so we know ahead of time. Uh, I'll go next. All right. I'll go after the L. And then Flutter, you're, last. you're playing yeah. cleanup. So go ahead and do your what you're doing there, hero. Oh, yeah. It's an advantage to attack because he's still prone. Oh, oh, I, oh, oh, I know. I'm well aware what that means. <laughs> I'll be right back. And, of course. Why, why am I not surprised? Of like, course. Like, like, this is just... I, I shouldn't even tried it you missed oh i i know that's why i'm like but it's like, it's like, come on. hey glass half full you missed and it wasn't a crit fail because yeah. it was advantage so there's at least that yeah but look at the damage <laughs> all right but i'm just trying to say what happens like okay so oh, i know i know it's still i know it's still like i know in the end it's Obviously, the target of your spell becomes resistant to the damage type of your spell for 1d4 rounds would have been the failure if you failed. I mean, so, obviously, like, I, I know, like, glass has full, glass has full, like, obviously, I didn't crit fail, but it's at the same time, it's like that's really disappointing that the one time I'm trying to do something, yeah, like, it sorry, it happens. DL bot, years, right. roll your damage, roll your attack. Sorry, all right, uh, with advantage. Oh come that. on! That 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 is just that is just like a slap in the face at that point. Come on! Wow! Right. He's still up. He's still awake. All right, that's, that's, there are exactly two more folks to. Uh... Yeah. Wouldn't the able get his extra attack, or is this him counted as using the attack action? This or not? is just the. This is your free attack for him yeah, waking like up this, before we roll initiative. Surprise. This is the surprise, surprise attack, round. basically. Yeah. Yeah, the surprise round attack. So obviously, yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> so well keep the sneak on that one. <laughs> that's a that's a hit, and you do have advantage. So. That's eighteen damage in total. That's eighteen damage in total. He is looking hurt. Has not been able to say much because he's getting attacked all at once. This is a rapid succession. <laughs> so it is all up to your bard. Well, Playing cleanup. Way. What you going to do? I'm going to be honest here. Oh. That probably should have been. Oh, wait. I probably should have that's, a hit. that's a hit with the rapier. And he is bloodied and damaged and just not dead. I I, I, sh I, I yeah. should have been honest here. I pro I, sh I should have been the one to play a cleanup because, like, honestly, considering my damage output, I probably considering my potential damage output, I probably should have been last. Probably could have even done better too, but oh well. Yeah. Too late now. So yeah. he uh, let's it's let's do it, folks. It is uh, it is initiative. turn order time. It is initiative time. Oh, go. Okay, I'm actually I'm a okay. Thank you, thank you, game. But you couldn't have given me that earlier with my with my uh with my my hands, really. What? You couldn't have given what's, me your, that what's your dex, Kara? Oh, um, both me and Dia have plus two, by the way, because I looked at the number next to the two. We both have a plus two. That's so funny. you can go at the same time. Doesn't matter. We'll consider it. Uh, it I, whatever order you want to go in at this point doesn't doesn't matter to me. 
Yeah, I, I noticed it. I noticed the plus two, and I'm like, wait a minute. I got a 17. Uh, I'll bet you did not click your sheet. You I did mean, not click your token oh. first, but I will add you. I am okay. Um, if you want, I, I, can, I can do a reroll. I got you. I'll, I got you. All uh, good, man. I don't think Scotty uh, uh, cl uh, uh, clicked on his character first as well, since he rolled initiative, too. I got you. I mean, that's actually amazing that we all went before, we're all going before the thing, and there's no way this thing's living. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, who was going first, Gears or, or uh, Cairo? I mean, we can just what, what, let's just let's just go on turn order thing since it shows him first. Just let him okay. Go first, it Gears, take your shot. What? Roll your down. Oh yeah, he's dead. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he dies before he. Bef and fortunately, before he gets a chance to yell out or make any noise, he is Aww. gone. I didn't get the rage. Yeah. Obviously, right as okay. the, right the battle ends, it's gonna Which, be See again, glass half full. What you should be saying is, "Man, I'm so lucky I didn't waste a rage." Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So. um... Oh. Yeah, what what do you want to do? You're standing around. No one seems any the wiser. I mean, um, we could potentially make the body look like it's still sleeping in his bed, or also if they come along and just uh, There is enough bedding around. You could maybe grab some of the other bedding and cover up his the blood that's now you know pooling out of him. So, at oh, first right. glance, at first glance, it wouldn't fool anyone that comes and inspects it. But at first glance, he's kind of laying prone in the bed. You just need to take care of the copious amounts of giant blood that are now flowing onto the ground. Um, so here's the question though. Would, would Sacred, like, um, I'm trying to think if I, uh, would Sacred Flame be able to put that, would it be able to like maybe clear the blood in a way? Sacred Flame? Yes. Would light all the bedding on fire? I mean, just, okay, that's okay, um... Which would cause a fire and smoke inside the cave, which may not be the best thing if you're trying to avoid people knowing you're there. I guess nobody has. Um, um... Oh. I mean, I mean, you you can. Oh. You're not gonna. I don't think you're gonna be able to keep people from knowing if they if someone's coming no. in and inspecting. Um, yeah, no, there's, we might as well just. Yeah. Uh, we might as well just just like. So, so you guys are gonna take you're gonna take like the 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 palette from this and maybe like cover him up a little bit or something. You guys can yeah. do it all together and do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So when you do that, um, you notice, uh, inside there's, uh, hidden, like underneath the palette is, uh, I'm not going to mess with copper or, uh, silver we're going to round those up so we are going to say you find a uh bag with uh 312 gold pieces okay now now that i now that i know at this point about it now i'm gonna this is where i'm gonna start writing the gold down in the bag of holding gun because obviously right sure. now right right now we should probably just put it in the bag for now. That's fine. And You're welcome to do it, and then we just divvy up at the end of the thing. That's what I'm playing. That's what we yeah. do. One person keeps track, and at the end of the of the, whenever we're in the encounter and we're back in town, we split up the loot. So we ever. Also, I got someone prepared for the whole situation with the giant. Oh lord. I would say you guys could see about down here on this. Don't disturb my friend. He's dead tired. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I was gonna say, are we about to we are we about to try to weekend at Bernie's a fucking hill giant right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know I understood that reference. <laughs> that's yes, why I, I have really seen that movie. Anyway, anyway, that's uh, that's why I brought up the fucking reference in the first place. I love that fucking movie. It's hilarious. <laughs> Gentlemen, we have, we have two paths strewn before us. One seems to be curving down, one seems to be heading towards into the camp. Um, I say we go I would to the say, curve. Right. Let's, 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 investi let's investigate first a little bit just to see if there's anything in that, in, in that area, but otherwise... Where are you gonna, so where are you going to go? Uh, 
Uh, North or probably south? Down, probably down that way first to see what, just to see what's down there first. So the north section here, the north passage. Yeah. Are you going to send the... Yes, send the row. Yes, That's probably, probably a good probably. idea. All right. Oh, okay. no, no. I'm also going to say that probably uh, last last session, but in the town that we were in, I probably sold the gems too, just to get those out of the way. That's fine. I forgot about those. The seven gems that were worth 100 gold. You can... I got it. Let me see. Let me see about there. I'm just going to do a stealth check just to make sure I'm going to do this properly. Okay. You can move forward, and that is your stealth is noted at 26. All right. Give you this, what you can see here in this chamber, and then maybe a little extra. All right. So what you see is there are... Two iron cages here that you can see uh, to the north right here. These contain uh, um, a boar. Huh. Um, I don't know if you can see. The, can you see the boar? Or are they on the GMO? Uh, no, I, all, all, I, all I can see is... Uh, all, They're all, all in all the here. Yeah, yes, there's no reason you shouldn't really see these. But they are in these pins. Um, should ask, are they, are they fully, are they fully wild boar, or are they like... Oh, well, they're in a pen. And... Uh, you don't know. They're right now in a pen. They're not doing tricks or anything. Uh, oh, when they say like trained, I mean like, were they like raised a certain way? Hey. From, from what Nyx can see, you cannot tell how these boars were raised. Okay. Uh, they may, question. they may be from a broken home. They may have been lived life on the streets. They could have been raised by wolves. You don't know. It's a mystery. I, 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 I think one of them's I, motto in life is Akuna Matata. Hey, who's the pig? He does not me. So you also you also see a giant sized table here that is uh, blood stained. Um, me yeah. thinks they had boars for dinner. Yeah. You want bacon? <laughs> I swear to God, that that goblin is going to be the day for me. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. Is the party now joining us? I thought we were going through this way. I was just oh. skipping ahead. Oh. I wasn't yeah, we, I, 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 I don't think we... Yeah. I think it was communicated in it if you were done scouting or not. Well, yeah. I mean, when, when the second that I... The second that, like, he would have reported back that the only thing he saw down here were some boars and a bloody table. Obviously, see, seeing me walking down oh, would be so a clear they, indication. They, they, um... Oh, so a makeshift kitchen. Oh, boy. We also run the risk if they see the boar see us, they'll make noise. So. Yeah, so let's just honestly just turn around and just go back. Or it... we could kill the pigs. Have they really done anything to us, though? Do we really want to be known as the yeah. people who just kill random animals? We kill people who yeah. are evil. We, we kill people who deserve it. We don't we don't kill innocent well yeah. innocent ish animals. I'm not a great gunman, I'm an assassin. What's the difference? One's a job, the other's mental sickness. Uh, I think we head to the uh, south side. Yeah, let's just walk back no. and then go down the other the other path then. Yeah. So I would say about the time where you get there, Nick, you hear a sound that is extremely familiar because you just heard it. You hear what sounds like more snores coming from this next room. Oh my god. <laughs> do I hear a snore or do I hear multiple? You hear a snore. Good, good question. That's actually a, that's a, that actually, yeah, that actually is a very valid question because that could have, there could have been like three. You, you do. It does sound like it's the pattern of a single snore and I will give you 
some vision from where you're at and tell What's you that, that it it looks very similar to the room you're in, maybe a different sleeping area. Yeah. From the, your perspective, you cannot see where that snore is coming from, though, but it does sound like it's emanating from the chamber in front of you. Which, uh, by the way, I, I did say, though, at, at, just at some point between us kill, officially him dying, and at some point between us coming back up, I used the rod just to get his bomb bomb back. Because... Sure. It's fine. I mean, I, I technically out of combat, I can do that literally at any moment, yeah. so... So I'm going to walk up to this corner here, trying to stay stealth, looking into the so, room. With the, uh... I'm basically, I'm hugging the wall, essentially, while I was looking around here. Okay, so, uh, uh... and that does, that does reveal to you, basically, the rest of the chamber. And, oh, no, no, and, and the snoring giant that's up above. Okay, so what? Just I guess just doing doing that repeat of the last you, one. It seemed to work out <laughs> last time, so. Let's, let's by the way, you're, which by the way, DL is probably. You DL. Here. Yeah. Out of here. Yeah, which, so, um, um, let's just repeat the last one. Let's do it. <laughs> maybe <laughs> have, maybe have Cairo go. Later. Yeah, no, I, honestly, I, I literally with me for this, it's either I go first or I go last. There's really uh, no in between here. I think so. Said... What? Oh. That's funny. Probably let either. Let's see, actually, though. Because I'm pretty sure if I if I went first, I'm pretty sure it's it just becomes like an automatic hit. I think, doesn't it? Because the because the uh, it's it's, like it's still it's still advantage. It's oh, not right. an auto hit. Yeah. It's still right. advantage. Um, yeah. you can still miss. Yeah, which is the fun part. It's an auto crit because he's unconscious. It, yeah, if he so hits, okay. if he hits, it's an auto crit. Correct. You get one auto crit, and everything else before he gets to attack is advantage rolls. So. Okay. So do you want to go first or shall I? I'm, 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 I'm honestly, I might Let, want to bank. Let's get the order before we start. So who's goes? Who's getting the first and roll with the crit? Is that going to be Sentai again? Is that going to be Angus? I, I yeah. want, honestly want to try to bank on the bank on the gamble of trying to hit this thing. Because magic can be incredibly potent, including crit, crit cards included, can be like incredibly hit, like hurting. I'm gonna let, let Kyle I'm gonna let Kyler have the first hit. Okay, so who's oh gonna go after So who's gonna go after Cairo? Let's get the order together. Uh I would I, just say just, just follow it, just like put like everyone just put everyone behind the way they were just putting it before I just do like maybe me, then Angus, then DL, so on and so forth kind of thing. Like before. Oh, for me. Yeah, that so, works. So so Cairo, Angus, Gears, Nix, and uh, Rex, got it. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, do the attack. Ugh, I'm, banking, I'm banking on a fucking gamble here. And so they said. I'm pretty sure I clicked on the button. It, sometimes I notice that like you'll click on the button in the game and it won't show anything for a second, so I had to click it a second time just to get the thing moved here. Okay, exact same level, exact same spell. There we go. Ooh, that Ooh. is a hit, and that is also a crit. Do you want me to pop the card, or do you want to take it? I'll, I'll take it because I'm. Um, I here I'm here you go. Field. I don't oh, think we need to it. see there the goes. critical hit thing again. <clears throat> sure. Oh, well, I, well, I was just going to ask: Do we want to do it again, or go for uh, it? Go for it. Yeah. Oh, you might have to we do that anyway. Out. So. I can't, yeah. I can't. I can't move the card. Did you not get the I card? Tried. No, I, I got it on the field. It's just it just won't let me move it. Oh, oh I know why. It's so big that because of the, it, it follows the exact same stuff. Critical hit. I don't see it anywhere. Hold on. It's in, it's in, it's in, oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got it. Bro. Because I, I can read parts of it. It says terrifying display. Triple damage, and all enemies that can see you must make a DC 14 wisdom saving throw on a failed save. Well, they're frightening for one to four rounds. But he can't see you. He's asleep. 
yeah, uh, but it is trip it is triple damage so <laughs> right now that is 27 damage times three so uh, let's find out that is uh, 81, 81 points of damage I and I'm no joke when I when I when I get hit when I hit I hit hard and he wakes up it is now. It is now. Angus' turn. Let's go. Do it. Do his attack. All right. <laughs> okay, that's seventeen. That's a hit. Gears. Want to clean it up? Damn. Yeah, and Gears is the man again with the kill shot. <laughs> Three in, and he he is. It's very effective. He has not had a chance. Didn't have a chance to say a word. So that was Ooh. eighty-one seventeen. So that was ninety-eight plus uh, nine. Hundred and seven damage. So we're looking at between a hundred and a hundred and seven as the average of the health. Which, by, which, by the way, at this at this point, just just to be just to be a complete asshole to the hill giant as he's dying, just like taking the fingers up to go. Want him like a gun? <laughs> Just like, fuck you. Oh, bag. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hill three on salt. All right. Teabag. All right. You guys, so... need talk amongst shells what you're gonna do next. I need a bio break. I'll be right back. All right. All right. Okay. Well, we've got another thing, get one, Same more thing, get one of the other bed rules, cover them yeah. up. Yep. Uh -huh. I mean, like, we, we could also, in theory, put something nearby, kind of tilt it to the side if we can to make it look like that him doing that is what caused this whole thing. Excuse me. I mean... But, I mean, like, just putting a bed roll on top is probably the smartest idea. Yeah, probably. Because, yeah. yeah. honestly, they, they have... I mean, I know hill giants are stupid... But I don't think they're going to be that stupid. You'd be surprised. There's the reason why they're the grunts of the ordering. I, 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 love how, of all, I love how we didn't even think about that as to who we were fighting. We just decided, you know, let's go to the hill giant. We had an easy time with hill giant. And then we thought about it. And then saying this now, it's like, wait, we're really going to have an easy time with this. Not fully, but it's going to be easier than going after like a storm giant. <clears throat> <clears throat> I don't even think we can take on a storm giant at this, this level. Possibly, if we know what the that I think we, I think we this... could, but it'd be a, it'd be a fight. Like, no, because I think fight. storm giant, think storm giants are like challenge rating twelve or thirteen. Well, no, I'm pretty sure for this, like, for this little thing here, but it would have been modified before we could make it there, I think. Mm. If, if that was how it was, I mean, like, we, we have like. We definitely, if we could, we definitely would have a fight on our hands because, yeah, storm giants are not not to be fucked with, basically. No, yes. actually, the, the one giant we really don't want to fuck with is a cloud giant. Yeah, that too. Do you do remember what happened when we touched the cloud rune? It was up, you go, down, you go. I'm back. All right. So what do you guys want to do? You're in this we've, room. Had the body. Uh, we've had the body the same way we did the last one. Okay. Yeah, same exact thing. We, we have the rogue uh, scout on the head to this path Cheating. here. All right. And um, that means that... Hold on. Do, 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 do. That means and you also find underneath the other pallet you move it around. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, do we find more gold? <laughs> Guys, swear if we find more gold, I swear. <laughs> you find one hundred and fifty-five gold pieces. Wow, I I, I just because of the number that we we had four hundred and twelve gold right before finding this because of the gems that I sold before and mm -hmm. the gold we just found. We now just got yeah. five hundred and sixty-seven gold. The 
My yeah, guessing, well. judging from the way the map looked, that either loops around to where this area is, over here. Either, either it loops around or there's one more room and then that loops around. Potentially. Only one way, way to find out. Yep, one more soon. Scout. Yep. Nice and slow. Obviously, when he goes down to there, I'm just gonna stay. I'm gonna stay nearby the light, but stay somewhat generically close for now. Down there, and you see this passage in front of you branched off to the south and to the north. Mm hmm. <clears throat> huh. Should just check the northern one just to see if it just to see if it does in fact move back because it can't hurt to check that. I have a feeling if I walk out here, I might hear something. I'm going to go up to the north. Okay, you you see the exit that you knew that you saw from the outside that is here. You do see as you look out to the south, you do see a glimmer of like. Because uh, it's evening, you see uh, firelight uh, flickering from the outside. Uh, yeah. To the north, you see... This passage loops around to the north. Small little little uh, passage kind of right here. Uh, larger Good passage job. to the north this way. Yeah, which 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 safe assumptions that 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 uh, the one that's right here probably just leads back into that room most likely. If you want, I can go since that's probably like small enough. I could probably go in, you know, go through. Well, I mean, through I'm, I'm assuming it's I'm actually assuming it's small. actually a passage that anybody it's a, a good five feet around. Each one of these big squares is, is a. 10 feet so yeah you could yeah. potentially so it's you see like if you can actually peek through there you can what you see is the what looks like the back of a like a barrel that you didn't go far enough in to see <clears throat> yeah which but also it's a large barrel, and there's actually a large crate. I'll go ahead and give you. I'm gonna give you the rest of this room. There's just not that much to see. There's a couple of crates, giant size yeah. crates, and. I knew that assumption was safe to make. That's what you're seeing. So the other, so if, again, again, this this one's actually a very, uh, a very safe and actually probably factual assumption that the northern <sighs> thing probably loops into the room as well. I'm just going to clear most of the map to see maybe if it branches off anywhere else. You see, it does yeah. branch off to the north a little bit. Yeah, which obviously didn't hurt the look, but I was assuming, like, I, I meant at least part of it moved around. Not the whole thing. This, this uh, north passage seems to slope down slightly. I feel like at this point we're not, we're not even making any headway to actually getting inside the place to fight the, the other one. Which, uh, would everybody else like to join us down here? Hold on. Oh, right. Uh, where? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're in the wall currently. There you go. <laughs> there we go. Not the brick in the wall. And what do you want to do? Do you want to go north? Do you want to go south? If we go I mean, south, we're walking it. If we go I mean, south, we're walking it. We're basically saying, yeah. hi guys. I mean, at this point, we might as well just fully explore part of the map. At this point. We might as well just yeah. fully explore what we can and, and then make a decision from there. Because obviously right now, we're already in here, so we might as well just continue moving. Yeah. All right. Um... Oh, are you coming? Did you roll roll me another stealth roll there, sir? 
I'm walking oh, with advantage. No. Remember, he's working with advantage. Oh, right. I, un I understand that. I got you. No, no, I'm, um, saying, I'm saying that for, I'm saying that for DL. He was like, oh, I got the oh no. And I'm like, oh, remember, he's working with advantage here. <laughs> All right. Uh... Yeah, 20. Hey. No, that's, 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 a, that's a dirty 20. That's not a nat 20. Oh. Here. All right. Here. So you can see from there, you look down and you can see there is it looks to be sloping down into a an area and this uh looks like it is a like a fence almost like a haphazardly made like uh like fence with slats that you can see through yeah uh Fairly, fairly high fence, and when you get down there, uh, I'll do that stealth roll as well. Now, from there, you can see a lot more. Hold on before everybody starts moving, because otherwise, I'll make everybody roll stealth. Oh, I know. I, I stopped. From the That's why I stopped. From the okay, what you see further on, and what's your what's? Let me just get a distance here. <laughs> Because it's fairly, it's actually fairly well lit. Most of these are well lit. Um, okay, I'll describe it, and I'll I'll go ahead and do the whole room pretty much, um, because it's just easier and with no dynamic lighting, we're gonna do what we can, and and this is gonna be a big reveal, so. Right. Takes forever for polygon reveal. But we're done and boom. And let me describe what you see. Uh, the walls of this filthy room are made with packed mud with jogs jut with logs jutting out of them. The river seeps through a gash in the north wall and forms a stream that cuts across the eastern half of the area before spilling through a hole in the south wall, tumbling down logs as it goes. There's a, creak, a creaky looking uh, wooden bridge that goes across the stream at one point. Uh, you'll see that to the south. Yeah. Um, small rivulets uh, also seep into the room and connect to the wider string, but they're narrow and easy enough to step over. Timber pillows caked in mud support the 30 foot high ceilings, which has uh, that's what you're that's what you're seeing here. That's yeah. uh, do that. So then the the big the big things here are big timbers that are. Hold on. Let me switch to the select tool. These are big timbers that are supporting the the ceiling. Okay. You'll see them appear out of there's one right here in front of you actually too. Uh, that support the thirty foot high ceiling, which has three circular holes cut into it. Those holes are here, over here, over here, and mm -hmm. over here. Okay. Um Crisscrossing uh, wooden beams cover the holes. So there's the beams are far enough apart that you definitely a smaller medium creature could fit into them with ease. But they are definitely big enough that would stop a giant from going through. Yeah. Uh, you can see that there are uh, there's an earthen ramp here that goes up. This is 10 feet up. If you see me pinging in there. Yeah. And uh, up here. This is 10 feet up, so this is all 10 feet below. You guys yeah. have kind of made your way down. This slope that you're coming down here is also 10 feet down to the area where Nyx is at. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Most of us have been from the map. You see, that, that, you, you, know, like... you see the fences that are erected around these tunnels the, the, that are where you're at uh, are there probably to keep out these scores of fat pigs that are... Um, Noted by the little, um, that's the purple things, guys. Uh, ah, that's case, pigs. Case, here. Yes, there are a there. This is a pig pen. There are a bunch of pigs. Um, yeah. there are also they 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 just basically are wallowing in mud. They're eating it at the troughs. Um, it definitely smells like pig shit in this room. Um, 
There are also, you see several, uh, right now you see one, two, three, four, five bugbears, six, seven bugbears in the room. Oh, God. Okay. Um, That's bad. You also, um, let's get a, what would be a good, probably a nature just do a nature check because these things are generally uh, from from uh, great forests and stuff. So give me a nature thing. Mm -hmm. and it... Can I roll nature? I mean, it's just it's just every. I'm pretty sure any everyone can roll it if they want to. It's just overall. This. Uh, nope. Someone keeps you on. I'm not. I'm not gonna give it to you unless like someone gets above like a. Th that's that'll do it here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Hero recognizes. I'll show this all players. The creature that's uh, the giant creature with two heads is an etin. Oh. Uh, it's a two-headed giant. It kind of looks like an orc. Uh, <laughs> that is what it looks like. Oh, fucking hell! And. Since I'm take advantage of the handouts that uh, are uh, that come with the thing, uh, here is what it looks like with all the pigs. This is kind of what the area looks like, and you'll see what I'm talking about with the crosshatched thing. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Boinker, boinkers, pig. <laughs> <laughs> so, you see all that. You're behind this fence. They don't see you. Uh, you definitely don't see a way, easy way through this fencing that you're at. Um, what are you going to do? You you can see from there, I would say, probably with everything being lit. Let's see. Is that a, is that a, is that a straight shot? Let me see. Uh, from... Um, I'll give it to you. You're a little bit out of line of sight, but you do see there's a, the other exit that you would expect would be going out to the outer area is right down here. That at the top of this other oh, platform. The one that the one that leads us to the uh, the one. There's that two. Remember, you saw two. Y'all saw two from the outside that went out into the like, yeah. little campground area with right. Yeah. So okay. that looks that looks to be the other one there. So. Uh, what are you gonna do? The group uh, is uh, out. Of, the group is up and out of sight. You are still yeah. hiding stealthily. Yeah, I would probably say the smartest idea is to not rouse uh, the sight of about seven bugbears and a, and that thing. Yeah, I count six. Or let's see, one, two, three, five, six bugbears and one etin. Two, three, four, five. You are missing one. There is. I'll oh, ping one, them. The... One, two, three, four, four, five, six. Yeah, it's just because mine must. Yeah, I was gonna say there's there's three there's three on the side closest to us, and there's four on the other side closer closer to the end. Yeah, I missed the two down at the bottom because of where my view was. I wasn't actually down at the bottom there. That's where I was getting the miscount. So... At, wor at worst, if we do have to go through this room, we try to obviously just as quickly as possible make too much noise. Just go up through and just leave through that entrance, or we just turn around and find a different way out. We either... I would recommend turning around if we need to go through here later. We're probably better trying to maybe each take out the bugbears before focusing efforts on the Etten and they dodge the, that the thing is, just though, in case it hits hard. Getting... Yeah, but the problem is though is dealing with each of those bugbears individually. It's going to be kind of difficult because if one of them sees a, if one of them sees another get hit, pretty much everyone else in that room is getting alerted in an instant. Yeah. Mhm. Mm <laughs> So, if we need to take care of Oinker Boinker, we can come back and deal with him. Yeah, we'll just... Yeah, I think... Ooh. Move back into the other room. Yeah. We'll just kind of... 
I will basically just describe the, the rest of the area from what I saw and basically say it's a filthy smelly pig pen with a lot of dudes. A big two-headed guy. We can have a look in the journal for the et. Let's have a look at Oinker Boinker. Guessing that's in play handouts. It should like be it. in a... I can, I can, if you want the handout, it should be in all your journals, the Oinko Borger yeah. Pink Pen, yeah. So, oh, there it is. Our, our only option, lads, is to go down south now. Yep. Go through that entrance that we, it can go through this entrance, basically. Well, technically... Well, it's an exit and an entrance, technically, but you get. Yeah. Okay, you. So if you there, you can see you can see enough to see out to see there's and it's it's what you kind of could see from the outside a little bit. There is uh, you see some tents, you see some uh, a a big kind of bonfire in the middle, and uh, in the center eating and enjoying their evening is a bunch of orcs that you can see. I mean, in, in comparison to an Eton and like seven bugbears, I still wouldn't rec I still wouldn't try to recommend us getting the attention of them, but if we had to fight them, it'd probably be easier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I thought about that, I'm like, yeah, it's probably easier than the other one, the other option. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so so are we going to take on the orcs or? Uh, well, well, let's let's try to be stealthy about it. Try to get past them without alerting them. But if we okay. have to fight them, we will. Well, okay. I don't see any other like passageway. So where are you guys trying to get? What's the um, end game here? Isn't. Uh, isn't the um? Are we trying to go for the big like mm -hmm. the big structure and the, that's what we're trying to do? Well, you're trying. You don't know. You you know that you're trying to to you you the the giant you're trying that has your main goal is to get this conch of teleportation that yeah, the giant sure. lords have. The one you are looking for is Chiefess Guh, G U H. Yeah. And you know this is her lair. You just don't know where. Yeah, so right now, probably probably going up into that big structure, at least peeking into the big, uh, the big like, what looks like, I'm just going to call it a barn, because it really does look like a barn to me, honestly. The top, the, the upper level. Yeah, just the upper, the uh, the upper level. Okay. Yeah. With, the, with, the, with the boulder that's outside the door. Yeah, stop. Yeah, okay. All right. You yeah, absolutely... You absolutely could go out, and you don't have to go out with the orcs are. I mean, you guys came out a side entrance that's still viable. I mean, yeah, I guess we could just go. We could just go out that way and just have the knowledge that those are there if we have if we have to come this way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you know we, we would be Actually, backing on ourselves, or we could. That means an orc each. If we could take them out quickly without them noticing. Yeah, but the thing is, though, that's up. That's up to stealth rolls. And remember, I'm not. I, I'm. I'm very hit or miss with stealth rolls. Either I'm either I either get it or I don't. And your heavy, ar normal, your but... heavy armor warforged is going to also have disadvantage on stealth rolls. So it might actually be smarter for us just to double back and go through a different entrance because, like, as as, yeah. as good as it would be, for... you can't like you literally. It is almost impossible for you to fucking fail stealth. I, I'm going to say that right now. Like, well, I mean, that's and... he's that's kind of his thing, though, right? I mean, that's the. Oh, I, I know that's that's purpose. the point. I'm just saying. I mean, hero in three more levels, I will never ever be able to fuck up a stealth roll because I can't oh, roll yeah. below a ten. Yeah, because reliable talent, everything he rolls will be a minimum ten. I think. Everything I'm proficient in. Oh right, yeah, true. Of course, still, I'm proficient in stealth. Like, that means that means like a lot of it means like regard like anything he's proficient in. That that hell that would actually turn some of. I mean, we could technically. No, I don't think I don't think they'd like performance. I, I could roll performance, but I, I have plus six to that. But I don't think they'd like performance right now. <laughs> I'm proficient in eight skills. 
I'm wow. proficient in I'm proficient in four of them, two of which I think are be two of which are because of my uh my background. Mm hmm. But yeah, so, let's, let's double back and take the other and take the one that doesn't involve the orcs because honestly, yeah. Well, the only other option we have is either going through the front door, which takes us through to the orcs anyway, or we sneak up to the tower. I mean, hmm. And that, potentially that take very... out the watch on the tower. And that could also lead us into a back door into the main building. This is actually a very, like, interesting, like, dilemma. Because if we go through the orc way, yeah. something could happen there. But if we go through the watch way, something could happen there. So it's... <laughs> 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 Honestly, at this point, I mean, you know, like, what, you know, you know, you know what that makes you, guys? What? Oh God! What? King of the King of the Hill Giants. Okay. Ah! God damn, <laughs> Bobby. I mean, we could we could go we could actually go through the old way and just like playing. because some of us can hit from range, so there's a potential for us yeah. to kill them without them even seeing us. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's me, you. Sentai because of his bow. And the Elbot now is the the I think yeah, Sentai is the has... Wait, we all have ranged. Mm. Yeah, we all have ranged, so we can literally do this if we wanted to. <laughs> yeah. I mean It just depends if we can take them all in one hat. Yeah, that's see the thing is though, I I can only do for doing surprise stuff, I can do one D ten. That's the most I can do. The most I can do is hand crossbow, which is a D8. I mean, depending on what we do, they they might not even they might try to just take us out because of uh, because of just seeing us. They might just think we're just like you know they might not even need anyone else. But we don't know that until we try. But Okay. We have done the stealthy approach so far, so it would make sense for to try and avoid combat. However, doing combat right now would also put us maybe an advantage because they have less numbers to deal with us. Yeah, yeah, that's that that that's what makes this so interesting. That we have to think like if we get into a fight, there's a chance that it can go south, but there's a chance that it also could work in our favor of diminishing the numbers that making it easier for us to fight later and not have to worry as much. Yeah, so I think we was, that, was that pun intended? No, there was no. I wasn't intending a pun there at all. He said this fight could go south when they are literally south of us. That 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 well, I actually wasn't intending a pun there. That just happened to line up very perfectly. Hmm. <laughs> what kind of a pun? It was not intentional. I will <clears> say that. Yeah. Anyway, I said we go. Yeah, for, Honestly, yeah, let's just, I mean, so that you can, uh, uh, I'll let you in a second, but, like, we should probably just deal with the orcs, honestly. Yeah, let's. What is the range on everybody's ranged weapons? Uh, uh let me check. Uh, do, okay, do you actually want to, do you actually want the range of Alger's Blast? It's enough. I, I can actually hit the orcs from here if uh, I want to. Hmm. I can hit the orcs from right, where, literally from right where I'm standing, right this second. Not even kidding. <laughs> Remember, Damn. 300 foot, uh, 300 foot Eldritch Blast. Remember that. <laughs> I mean, the funny part is, I could actually hit one from right here. If I moved, like, one square, I can I hit. Could. I can hit from them from here as well. If I, mean, I like, move if to I moved, at least there. If I moved, like, one square over, I could hit, I could hit, like, I think at least a couple of them. I could hit all of them if I sniped from here. Oh, I'm not trying to put myself in the camp. That's I didn't side the right tool something. There we go. And yeah, my I'm max right damage if I roll with sneak attack is about thirty. Not including crit. Is, though, be right back, guys. You, you wouldn't be uh you wouldn't be rolling with uh with stealth and with that else stealth uh with <clears throat> sneak attack at all because no one's nearby. By the orcs. Uh, I think I can handle it pretty hard with, good with the short bow. So, I mean, like, do we just wanna... 
obviously I'll move, I'll move a bit closer before we do that. Just to, like if we do do that option, I'll just move a little closer just to set myself up. So if they start moving in, we can at least. Let's see here. Um, I believe, I believe my short bow, bow has oh. a range of uh, eighty to uh, three twenty. Uh, I would still say. Uh, yeah, although even though you're gonna be hitting with the short bow at first, I'd still say get a little closer to the entrance. That way, when they start coming in, that same thing for Sentai actually move it closer to the entrance. So when they start, it's like slightly closer to this area. You know what I mean? Here. So that way, when they start moving in, something like that. Yeah, that actually would actually would work. Uh, just near the entrance in general. So when they start actually here, the... I might I might have an idea. What? Oh. Do you think there could be a way we could lure the orcs in here and take them out? I mean, all, all I'd have to really do is just aim and I'll just blast near the wall by them so they, they'd, he they'd hear it and then turn around. They'd just aim it near the ground near them so they'd hear it. At that point. I have a crazy idea. Oh boy. I was thinking I, I can go in, you know, be right, right about here and insult them. That'll piss them off. That's not... You'd have, you'd have to get closer, which would involve stealth, for they could see you before you even get there. So. No, 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 so no. I'd I'm say, go I'd say we just do it from here. <clears throat> I was gonna forego stealth and just, you know, just walk on up to them. Yeah, yeah. I know, but that's... Yeah, the, the, yeah, the, uh... Yeah. The, the Goblin Barbarian does not, uh does not make for stealth. Goblin Barbarian's no. like, I'm gonna walk up and smack them. Honestly, let's just, let's just do the, let's just do the ranged idea from here because that's honestly the same. Because they'll come to us regardless if we hit them from range anyways. Uh, my Discord. Uh, would, the, would the elf like to, uh... You know... <laughs> <laughs> would, would Flutter care to join us? I, 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 Hold I, on. Would, with the bard who has not played to the bard standard once in his entire life like to join us over here? Sorry. <laughs> you know, oh, the, the, bard, the, the bard who is, uh, you might want to move over, like I swear, because you're kind of on top right. You're kind of on top of Nick's at the moment. I was telling <laughs> someone today that, that uh, Flutter's the most powerful character in your group. Oh, wow. Hey, he's also a woman here. I, 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 how exactly is he the strongest here? Yeah. Put, yeah, this is news to me. Put put me put put me playing that character right now in a in in let's do a battle royale. Let me control Flutter's character and let's see who wins. Um All your Bart all Flutter tends to do is shoot or stab with his rapier. He's got a a cautery of spells. To oh, I know from. he does. That's the and thing. So, so do I. He's got, he's got a he's got a uh, magical flute that does all kind of stuff. That's awesome. That doesn't get used that often. So, right. Yeah, he's a he's a. I, I'm telling you, I, my my bard at 14th level could probably take out almost everybody else in my party if I wanted to. Um, just you're a jack of all trades. You got a lot of stuff you can do. Right. Yeah, that, that's the that's the that's the one thing about bards that I honestly love. Of the jack of all trades, they yep. don't really master a lot of shit, but they're good at almost anything. Yeah. Oh, should I start the uh, firing? Yeah, honestly, just let's just just. All right, so actually, you know, everybody, just everybody over. can get a everyone gets an attack before we do initiative. We'll do a surprise round of just shots out the door. So, okay. uh, in order, pick a target. We'll assume it's all. Where are you going to be at? Everyone, get where you're going to be before this attack round. Yeah. Because uh, right now there are people who are not going to have selection of all the targets based on where they're located. Yeah. Like, right. Uh, right, uh, like right now, I think Nick couldn't hit these guys on the right. He's got an outcropping in his way. You can hit all, this guy and this I've guy. I've got perch on these two. Okay. Um, uh, I don't think you got the guy on the far right, do you? Because you're gonna hit that. Aren't you gonna hit that tent he's behind? You saw those, right? They're those big. They're big like teepees. You can get this. Oh, guy. I really want to have purchase on this guy here, at eighty-five feet. That's the. That's the guy. This is the guy you got. Actually, you got action on right here. All right. So. Over this one. This dude. 
So you're yeah. doubling up on this guy in the middle. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. We'll uh, Angus. We'll do it alphabetically. Doesn't matter. Do uh, okay. roll roll your attack for the guy. Okay. One. Sh one short bow coming up. <laughs> Uh, that is, okay. that is, yeah, I think he's trying I haven't to announced it. that is a miss. I was waiting oh, in case there was like, oh. I've got, I've got by, oh. in, in case there's like, I, I've got my, uh, uh, inspiration or something. Huh? I want to use or, my lucky, but I want to save it for like, in case of emergency that is yes. that is fine yes. i just know that you can't do that after i've given the uh the yeah, success or failure yeah, yeah. so that is a that is a miss so it just why they are alerted at that point but everyone gets their shot so right. who, so uh after that would be i believe uh cairo no flutter yeah, oh okay. no, flutter, flutter, ah. flutter no you're not alphabetical because you're not i was doing angus angus and then oh. Cairo would be next. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, no. Uh, well, we're gonna call him Gears. Gears would be next then. Yeah, Gears. Go by we'll, G. Yeah, we'll, we'll go. Go, we'll go, by that. go yeah, ahead, Gears. Who are you uh, shooting at? Hmm. I think I'll go for the one in the middle. Uh, it'll. Uh, also, uh, did I set up the uh, short bow correct? Rightly on the sheet. Just checking. Uh, let me look at your sheet. I have not looked. Did you just drag and drop it in? Uh, no, I did not. I, I tried typing. You know, okay, my... let let's do let's do this. Let me, uh, cause I know we can drag and drop it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and and do that. Uh, and just do yeah. short bow. Which uh, uh, I, I do have, plus I do have a one. Uh, in case it does get to this, I do have a spell that I've been needing to break out, actually, because uh, it's very, very interesting. And I'll say that. So, uh, short bow plus one is the attack is not plus seven, but you're so you were a little high on your attack number, but you were a little low on the additional uh, <coughs> piercing. So it's the one Sorry. below i'm gonna that's okay no you that's fine it's pretty good for just manually putting it in oh let, let me go and remove that though so there's no oh. confusion I, I just i just noticed something at, at some point i just noticed i have a spell that i have to pick up a a, a, a component for it that has like a like as an actual like material component yeah. uh, for warding bond i have to pick up and rings up eventually i forgot about that okay just remember to do that. All right, so you're good. You yeah. can click the short bow. It should do the attack for you. All right, so just so so just. Uh... Oh, and you should be. You're proficient. You're proficient in martial weapons, aren't you? Let me look at your thing because maybe make sure that's the only thing that may not be done. Yeah. Light yeah, weapons no. have it. Yes, you're you're proficient in all that crap. So let's uh, let me make sure that your and it is proficient. So yeah, you're good. Click on it and you're good to go. Okay. Let me just... And you want this guy back here, right? The guy in the middle, you said. Yeah. Okay. And the distance you got there is... What? So that's going to be just within your range to not be... That is a hit. Uh, that is uh, four points of piercing damage to that... Goblin, it is, or that orc, I mean, it is not dead. Um, so that would be Cairo's turn. Uh, I might as well just, honestly, uh, um, let's see here. I have a couple that I can, I actually have a couple that I can pick from. But just to make things a little easier for us, I, I would be able to hit the one that, the one that was just hit just like two seconds ago, right? Mm-hmm. Then I'll, I'll just pile some more damage on that one to see if we can maybe take it out before. Okay, uh, that one in the back, that's the one that was hit. Mm -hmm. All right, and here we go. That's a miss. Ooh. Yeah, but the funny part is though is that I, 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 that's not even why I was immediately snickering. It's kind of looked. At, I looked at the numbers. I'm like, okay, nine and twenty-two. Then I looked at the damage, and I'm like, 
pink. It's an air. It's an Eldritch boop. All right. That would make it Nix's turn next. You're going for this guy, right? Mm hmm. Do it. Nix is going to make sure this guy remembers he got shot. First, he's going to. And crossbow. That is a critical fail. Critical fail. Fail. I think this is my first time drawing a critical fail card. You know, now, now I'm now I'm kind of very happy I rolled a nine. <laughs> it kind of immediately brings into perspective how much of a difference it is. Just, what what is your critical fail? Let's see it. Uh, yeah. Let's see. There we go. It would be piercing. It would be. It's actually uh, melee ranged, natural or magic. So range would be. You take a one d four penalty to your next attack roll. Mm. That's not that. That's not that. Nah, not horrible. I mean, like. And then I was going to. <laughs> bonus action. Okay. Yeah, because you could do that. To. Scoot over like ever so slightly and just then <laughs> move he or well, basically run here and so use my bonus action for my cunning action. It was going to be the dash maneuver since I used movement to get there. So, right, okay, that was we use bolts from the grave. Uh, same target or different target? Same target, okay, yeah, it was a, same target. Uh, uh, that that is a miss. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh. that would make sense. All right, uh. it is Rex's turn. Um, <laughs> we have the weirdest assortment of letters ever. So I am going to shoot the. So which this one so which... had damage? Okay, it's the only one that's had damage. That's the oh. funniest part. You have two. managed to cross everybody to do four points of damage. Okay, so I am going to shoot that one. Wait, uh, hold on. Do it. Let me just read let me just re look at my character sheet real quick. Cause... Everybody everybody's like, they hate that guy. Like, What'd that like, guy do? The, like even the even the orcs are like, what the hell? Like, what'd you do, Jerry? Who did you piss off, Frank? <laughs> Like, who the hell did you like? Who's who's muffin did you piss on this morning to deserve this? <laughs> but wait, Hold aren't, on. Aren't, aren't orcs uh, aren't orcs like a semi-religious uh tr like semi-religious kind of? They definitely think... have their god. So <laughs> it's like, like would you would you what sacrilegious fucking act did you would you piss in someone's oh. cereal? Take a puppy. Oh. Like what'd you do? <laughs> Hold on, be right back, guys. My character sheet is wanting to, isn't wanting to load when I open it, so I'm gonna just leave back. and then come back. Also, to, why are your puppers also going nuts? I feel oh, like also from where you're at, you could probably see more now, and you do see as they're yelling and last shots about to go that. Each one of the tents had at least an orc in it, and you see them come out. I mean, well, they're I'm, only... I'm, assuming it's, I'm assuming it's like it's like yelling per se, like, it, it's like yeah, like oh, yelling. Frank got shot by some motherfuckers. So basically, they're all in a. <laughs> I imagine like when the orcs come, when the, when the orcs comes out. Hero. His... I'm gonna go ahead and do this to give you guys. Hero. The scope of hmm? the... I wish oh. one of us had fireball right now. Oh, I know. They are all within 20 feet of each other. Oh, I know. It's just, it's so beautiful. You want to know what really would be amazing right now? If Flair didn't die. I would have had it. Well, that is one, two, three. That is ten orcs. Two orcs each. I mean, that's not, that's not too bad. The number is two to one. Remember, we've faced worse. Yes, however, 
action economy would dictate they have five more turns on us, so therefore they would be doing more damage output. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hold on. Just get that. Very hard. Those thoughts are kind of terrifying me. In the oh, worst way possible. No, they shouldn't be. The dots are so I can roll five initiative rolls and not ten. Oh, okay. So you can roll, so you, yeah, so you can roll them separately. Okay. Well, I'll roll them semi separately. Does right. anybody oh, possess uh, a fireball grenade? No. Does anybody have a holy hand grenade? <laughs> wait, Han. Wait, Han. Uh, does uh, does what if? Does uh, Rex still have Thunder Wave? Thunder. Uh, I sure. do. I'm sure. I and I and that know. may be and that may be a great thing to do if after this attack with the uh, bow, uh, he is far enough in the turn order, high enough up to run up. That would not be a bad thing. It does affect uh, 15 feet, so you get a few of them. <laughs> Well, if he puts it, um, if he actually centers it on the fight, like near the fight, like centers it near the fire, he could hit all of them, I think. Uh, just need to wait for my character sheet to be select, like my character, like yeah, on the well, in the journal. If he centered it on the fire, he could hit all of them, actually. I think. Well, it's not a radius. It's 15 feet in front of him in a square. So it yeah. effectively would be, um, so it, actually, like, so it would be like, uh, like that basically. So with him being in the front of this, so if he got to like here, he could get like these three, he could also angle it. He could angle it and get potentially, I just messed that up. He could get, oh, there we go. You know. Depends where he's at. You get a few. Yeah, yeah, because I, 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 I forgot that. I, I keep I, the radius versus like a, a solid square always fucks me up. There. Okay, so I just looked to the chat. So is that the hell giant we killed? I feel sad now. <laughs> <laughs> also, so yeah, since damn it, since Bobby, you're supposed to be hard. God, Since Hero brought right it up, I am actually going to cast well, remember, Thunder you're still, Wave. You're still doing the attack first. You're still doing your short yeah. attack first. You are oh, too yeah, far, yeah. Yeah, you're too far away attack. to do Thunder Wave. Yeah, you're too far away to do Thunder Wave. Oh, okay. So, so yeah. That's yeah. Only, yes. we'll just... That is literally 15 feet cube in front of you. Oh, Which okay. So, right. I'm, so I'm just going to shoot the one that's taken that's already taken damage. That's this guy right here, that's the top red the guy. Only, the only one that's taken damage so far. <laughs> that is the miss. Oh my so, god. So, everybody, ah. roll initiative. I'm about to do the same for the work group. So, also, has anyone checked out my joke on the uh, in the chat? <laughs> the attendance. Ah, uh, goes attendance. Yes. God damn it. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. Well, I will take again. that. I will very much so take that. <laughs> okay, I'll take the. I'll take the twenty. Well, remember that's your first initiative roll, so obviously you just have. To... Yeah, because I forgot to click on my uh, <clears throat> token again. Oh yeah, all you have to do is just click on your token and then just and then and then just click. Yeah. Yeah. Send in the ankle beater. All right. Is it, who else? Anyone else miss putting their sheet on? Okay, hold on. Hold on. I got oh. you. Don't I guess you're 20? Yeah. So basically, I get to go with Lee Jenkins. He gets, literally, it's it's literally just like we're all just holding him back for a second. And as soon as the initiative, as soon as the initiative is done, we're just like, send in the Echo Biter! That's what we miss it. I, well, we miss I it. So. Which I, I, I know should... next thing. I know, I know Scotty made the joke first. I just, I just wanted to make it a little, add a little more bravado to it. Also, one other thing. Who here remembers uh, Road Rovers? The, the TV show. I don't. Um, Neither do I. I. Neither do I. Not that I, not that I remember. Mm. Oh, you're, I don't know why I put you there twice. I didn't see you a minute ago. Um, basically... One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, it is 8 o'clock, and I got a game, uh, games with my my folks in about 30 minutes. So we're going we're gonna to call it. We got our two full hours in. Good job, guys. Uh, uh, we'll start with a fight.
uh, next week. Okay. And, and we have our turnover right. and everything. We'll be ready to go and rock and roll as soon as we get started. So, all right. Anyway, uh, that's. So. Sorry. Uh... No, that's it. Go ahead. Do your thing. Wrap it up. Uh, that's going to do it for the for this edition of the Rising Language Chapter or or three. It is time for the sign offs. Go. I have been your flamboyant flyer, flying an idiot. Some around flyers. I'm here with Spirit King, and you know, there's a spell I haven't used in a while, that because of we're in a target-rich environment, probably is going to come up at least once in a hellish rebuke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, know, this, you know, the spell that I, I think it's happened twice now, where I faint and kill someone at the same yeah. time. Yeah, I think it has been twice. <laughs> well, anyway. you know, you know, it has been twice. Because I remembered it once happening against the, uh, against uh, the yeah. wall. Oh. Okay. okay, Flutter, I need to run out there, be French, taunt them, and lead them in here. <laughs> no, he'll walk into Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of everybody's. <laughs> oh my God. Be French, lure them in. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Yeah. I've been the Golden Slain Colin Podcaster, Center Master 100, and these orcs about to feel my fury. The Blade of Fury. Ba 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 ba! <laughs> Sorry. I was, I, was trying to, I was trying to be Angus's high man there for a minute. The Blade of Fury. Oh, damn! <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, my God. Neil? Mm. Anyway. <clears throat> and I, of course, have been your kind of beloved overlord and rule god or DID between his team, mighty of the just a passing through Toku fan. Remember that? At, and, uh, <coughs> we're Otherwise, wise folks, best way to. Way to, way to get rid of, a, rid of a hell giant? Make sure it's dead tired. Oh, but I'm punch. He went to bed thinking he was going to have a nice night. I thought, did he know it would be his last night? <laughs> anyway. Wait. Wait. And, uh, and our DM mark. It says. Uh, good job, guys. Good night. And uh, I'll most likely kill you next week. Take care. <laughs> anyway. Uh. If you're going out, make sure to wear a mask, wash your hands, practice the little thing, don't be scared or chat him like likes it. If you haven't already able to who get your shot with the code VAC C he and booster shots included. Looted and if you have gotten your shot for the co of the vaccine, he'd make sure to wear your mask as often as possible you go out, remember or hashtag avoid the delta of the Omicron. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Have a good night folks, take care, we'll see you all next time. Bye! Right. It is.